right, some ticket text coming in, and then I have got a question for fans all over the place. It is one of the hot topics in sports. It's a dirty, dirty word. Starts with a T. We'll get to it. So good to hear Mike finally getting hockey. There's many of these stories out there. They're pushed aside for bragging rights and smack talk. Well, look, I, I would just say this. I mean, I used to, you guys know this. I used to love hockey. I mean, I grew up loving the game, and there are reasons I moved away from it. I find stories like these exceedingly rare in sports. So whether it's hockey or not, it, we just don't have enough of these. Uh, thanks for bringing it up. I know out-of-town hockey doesn't light the airwaves, but it is a great story indeed. It shows heart and integrity. There's the video of his kid crying his eyes out after he scored. It made it emotional watching it. Yeah, a number of people have texted that in. I did see that. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, another one saying, watch the video of his son. You'll ball. The hockey story is the sunshine we need. God dang, that's phenomenal. Uh, Matt, I want to give you a plus one. I don't think ever, ever, anyone has ever texted God dang. That's, that's real effort right there to not cuss. Good for you. But, yeah, cool video, really cool story. And, um, yeah, the hell with it. Go Blues. That'd be really, really neat to see a city that hasn't had it. I mean, be honest about it. What? I thought you just said go blue for a second. I had no, a go second blues. take that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do whatever you want with that. I don't care. Just must. Hey, Mike, I don't have a football program. It doesn't matter. What's the difference? You think it'll be that bad this year for MSU? I don't know what it'll be, and I just don't care. Until I turn it on and see, like, four touchdowns a game, I don't want to watch it. I'm done with it. I'm sick of it. I don't want to win 13-10. And I don't want to waste the top 10 defense again because my coach is Captain Poopy Pants, and he's stubborn and won't fire his church buddies. Like, I don't care anymore. You've made me not care, and you've made a lot of Spartans not care. So you know what Mark D'Antonio's job is now? Make us care again. Bring us back to the fold. Your job is to get people back on the bandwagon. That's it. I mean, no offense to you, but you sit there and watch your alma mater go out and lose a bowl game 7-6 and then tell me how much you're supposed to care. You go out and hold teams to like 14 points a game and still lose. And then tell me you're supposed to care. Nah, man, to hell with that. I think with State, too, I mean, the whole musical chairs thing, sure, it rubbed people the wrong way. But I, I'm not, I don't expect them to be, like, terrible or anything this year. I think yeah, that. But what, well, okay, but, Mike, the standard of good is, like, the burden of proof. They, anything under 10 victories is unacceptable when you have a top 10 defense national. Dude, if I played on that defense last year, I would have been pissed. I, I, there, that, there, there would have been a murder in the locker room. That the, that the offense is like, you know, can you give me 17? Can you give me 20 points, 23 points? Is that that much to ask for? Mike, I mean, what do you want me to say? If they had a quarterback with a shoulder or an offense that could do anything, don't they beat Michigan? Yep. Guess what? They didn't. They had no answers. The backup quarterback? Please. Did you see the Nebraska game? They lost 9-6. to six. Bowl game. 7-6. You had a month to prepare. 7-6. to six. Don't, hey, don't ask me to care. Make me care. So I don't know what they're going to be. I think the defense will be really good. The offense, I got no idea. Because I have no faith. Unless different people's ideas are not only voiced, but unless D'Antonio is willing to hear them, I really don't see how it would be different. Now, if Mark divests himself completely from the offense and lets Brad Salem do his thing, maybe. But he has shown, not only has he shown no willingness to do it, I don't know that he has the ability to do it. It's not who he is. It's not what he is. He wants to play trestle ball. The problem is that style of football is largely dead. It is an offensive renaissance. And you're not going to win. Oh, you're not going to win games 16-13. It's hard to do. And your margin of error is zero. So, Mike, I, I really don't know to answer your question. I don't know what they're going to be. And I'm not going to do the up-down theory and, oh, they'll bounce back. No, man, that makes me a stupid Spartan. Just like there are plenty of stupid Wolverines. Like, there is no guarantee of anything. Just because last year was A, it doesn't mean this year's B. You know, last year's defense was probably the second best defense in the history of the school, maybe, outside of the Rose Bowl year. We barely made a bowl game. And frankly, once you watch the bowl game, 
You wish they never got on the plane. It was an embarrassment. So I don't know if that if this year's defense can be that. I mean, I'd like to believe it will be similar. Offensively, <laughs> who knows? Well, we talk about musical chairs with the coaches. What they can't do is play musical chairs with the quarterback again. You just have to find someone and just hand them the keys and let them go. This whole Lewerke, Rocky Lombardi, it's going to be every other. You, you just can't do it. And I, I don't know what to expect with that. The whole open quarterback competition, we'll play who's playing best, uh, you know, the best players will play type stuff. I don't know what to believe. You'd know inf- more, more information than me on that if it's just going to be Lewerke's show or not. Well, if, I don't the, know. if the best players would play, uh, I'm going to be careful how I say that. I no longer believe anything that D'Antonio or the coaches have to say. I'll just leave it to you this way. The time for talk is over. I, I don't remember the last time I heard about how good someone looked in spring ball from the staff, and it was actually true. I don't believe anything they say, and I don't care about anything they've done. The fact that D'Antonio has had the most productive career at Michigan State since Biggie Munn, it doesn't matter to me anymore. We are now in the code red end of your career phase if you don't get this right and right now i mean what do you think we're talking about if they go six and six this fall you think the f word isn't getting used now it doesn't mean the school's going to do it it's just like saying tom gorris isn't going to tear it down and rebuild but fans will be using the f word and it's not the one that rhymes with duck they might, be the, using, they might be using that one too yeah, but mike that's the phase we're at 2016 was a disaster. 17 was a mirage. 18 was a disaster. You come back with another disaster, bro, you're Bobby Bowden the late years. That, that's, uh, you don't get to burn down what you built. So it's D'Antonio and company's job to make people believe. Bring us back. So that's that. Uh, you got you, you got me heated. I was in a decent mood. The latest rumor was that video of Thomas Kithier catching passes. <laughs> Maybe he could play tight end for him. <laughs> and, hey, Michigan State needs a tight end that can actually hang on to the football and not drop it every time it's thrown to him. <sighs> the d- disaster was so cool last year. Yeah, it was Dotson, too. I mean, Dotson was a big-time recruit. and <laughs> His hands may as well have been made of hot dog buns. All right, well, here's an easy segue. Warm